Good morning, faith-filled ones. Hebrews 11.1 1 gives us the definition of faith. It says, now faith is the assurance, the title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. So, faith is grabbing onto the unrealities of hope and bringing them into the realm of reality by acting on the Word. See, faith in God's Word is how we got saved. Romans 10, 8 through 10 says, But what does it say? The Word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verses 14 through 15 go on to say, How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is how faith develops in our hearts. We don't just go around wearing a t-shirt saying faith man or faith woman and expect that we'll have faith. (laughs) No, faith comes one way. And that is by hearing the word of God. The more word you have, the greater your faith will become. The principles of faith are the same in any area, whether it be for receiving the Holy Spirit, healing, finances, etc. Unfortunately, we do not receive by just hoping. Always remember, God never fails. If we're not receiving what we're asking for, Let's examine our own hearts and make sure we're praying according to the will of God, which is the Word of God. Our prayers do not change God. He never changes. Our faith in God's Word is what changes things in our lives. Mark 11.24 says we are to believe and then we'll receive the answer to our prayers. It says, I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you have received, it will be yours. Our believing is our acting on the word. Believing and acting will cause the results to materialize. Faith always says, I have it now. Faith never relents or looks back. Let's make this confession of our faith together. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm only moved by what I believe. Also remember that faith without works is dead. James 2, 14 through 18 says, Dear friends, do you think you'll get anywhere in this life if you learn all the right words but never do anything? Does merely talking about faith indicate that a person really has it? For instance, you come upon an old friend dressed in rags and half starved and say, Good morning, friend. Be clothed in Christ. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and walk off without providing so much as a coat or a cup of soup. Where does that get you? Isn't it obvious that God talk without God acts is outrageous nonsense? Yes, because this is truth. When you're not feeling well, put on some quiet worship music and begin to quote some healing scriptures. This is your faith and action. Say, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. You will find that your body will respond to the word of God being spoken out of your mouth. But be patient, because the word says that through faith and patience, we inherit the promises. Psalm 107.2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can you believe that the scripture declares in Romans 14, 23, anything apart from faith is sin? Whoa, family, unbelief is siding against God's word. We don't want to do this to the best of our ability. If we miss it, all we have to do is what 1 John 1, 9 says. 
If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then thank God for his forgiveness. Don't be surprised if you're challenged when you begin to walk by faith. Satan will say, it's not happening. This is taking too long. You must not have enough faith. The scripture declares that Satan is a liar and the father of lies. John 8, 44. Come against him in the same way our Lord Jesus did with, it is written. I guarantee you, he'll not hang around very long when you use the word against him. He knows that is what defeats him. I encourage you and exhort you to act on God's word today. Act as though God's word is true, despite the circumstances. This is what faith looks like. It's totally contrary to the way the world has taught us. The world says, seeing is believing. God's word says, believing is seeing. In closing, I want you to remember this. Real Bible faith says what the word says about you, not what people, circumstances, or the economy says. You are healed, blessed, and prosperous in Jesus' name. Give all the glory to God. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you in Christ Jesus and am praying for you today.